It was only a matter of time. Porsche has been prepping a major update to its Taycan and now the automaker has delivered in a big way. The 2025 Porsche Taycan gets upgrades that boost power, range, and charging efficiency. And so, one of the coolest EVs out there just got even better. First off, one thing to note here is that Porsche hasn't upgraded the platform here on the Taycan, at least not yet. With the recent reveal of the new Macan EV and its premium platform electric, it's likely only a matter of time until the Taycan rides on the PPE as well. For now though, that's still the J1 platform under the skin. To give it the update the Taycan deserves though, Porsche set out to make an already good car even better. Previously, the fastest charging speed possible on a Taycan was 270 kilowatts. That's now raised to 320 kilowatts and it can be achieved for a longer period of time. The base level battery pack is larger as usable capacity rises to 83.6 kilowatt hours. This comes standard on the base model and 4S. Taycan Turbo and Turbo S models come standard with an also larger pack, which is now listed at 105 kilowatt hours. Of that, 97 kilowatt hours is usable, and the larger performance battery pack is available as an option on the base and 4S. Despite going with larger battery packs, Porsche has reduced the weight of those packs, and efficiency has gone up as well. There was a recent drive program of the prototype models, with a handful of journalists driving on the freeway in Southern California. This involved going from LA to San Diego and back. I believe the lowest range figures people were seeing were still well over 300 miles, while some folks were able to push their available driving range to over 400 miles. How is Porsche pulling this off without a total platform change? The automaker is using a more powerful rear axle motor. They've optimized the software for the pulse inverter, there's a new heat pump being employed, a new energy recuperation strategy, revised thermal management, and then you have the more powerful batteries as well. Beyond the efficiency gains, Porsche is delivering considerably more power as well. The base model rear-wheel drive Taycan gets 402 horsepower but does so without having to activate launch control to get it. It now runs from zero to 60 miles per hour in four and a half seconds, which is over a half a second quicker than the prior version. On the top tier Turbo S, the base level of available go is 764 horsepower, but there's also a push to pass function via the Sport Chrono package, and that doles out an extra 93 horsepower for up to 10 seconds. Put the Turbo S in launch control, however, and you fully unlock 938 horsepower and 808 pound-feet of torque. Porsche says this makes it the most powerful production Porsche of all time, as well as the quickest, since it takes just 2.3 seconds for the 0 to 60 dash. Don't forget either that Porsche is very conservative on its range figures and 0 to 60 times. Also don't forget that there's still a Taycan model to be revealed. Remember not too long ago when Porsche broke news that it had taken back the electric sedan record at the ring? That model is expected to be announced as the Taycan GT. And if it's quicker than the new Turbo S based on the specs I just mentioned, then it will truly be a monster of a machine. For now, the lineup consists of the Taycan sedan and base, 4S, Turbo, and Turbo S models, and the wonderful Wagon Cross Turismo in 4, 4S, Turbo, and Turbo S trim. That wagon, by the way, comes standard with all-wheel drive and the larger battery pack. There's no more GTS Sport Turismo, unfortunately, as that was a delightful sweet spot in the lineup. You also get more standard features in the Taycan, which has an updated gauge cluster, center display, and an optional passenger screen. There's a new set of headlights and taillights. Adaptive air suspension is standard across the line, as is lane change assist, a heated steering wheel, ambient lighting, wireless charging, charge ports on both sides of the car, and the Porsche Intelligent Range Manager. The price has come up a bit, however, as the base Taycan now starts at $101,395. A Taycan Turbo S will set you back at least $210,995. The base Taycan 4 Cross Turismo starts at $113,095, and the Turbo S Cross Turismo is $213,695 to start. Man, explosive performance and excellent range certainly do not come cheap, but the 
2025 Porsche Taycan is definitely a great upgrade over the prior years. Yeah.